Hello viewers, we're gonna play, oh no, we're gonna do a Rage review, I'm so used to doing videos, of gameplays, uh, we're gonna do a Rage review, uh, Rage 3, but first I wanna discuss about the maps and the, uh, soundtrack in Rage 2, I just wanna say that, um, the maps are all amazing, I like the Arctic level, and I like the, uh, the final, the final map level, which is the dome, I think, in Rage, in Rage 2, what um the, the the most my most favorite soundtrack is the uh, Ricochet Love and Rose Before Nightfall. Those are my f Rose Rise Before Nightfall. One of the one of the two. It was amazing and I loved the hell out of it. Uh, now let's get on to Raise Three. So lots of issues with Raise Three. I have to say. Now, I've played this game so many times, but there, there's, I suppose I'll say the good things about this. There are a lot of guns you can buy, which is great. You can, and when you buy a gun, you can upgrade its attachments, which is even better. More upgrades, more things, you know, different combinations of different, you know, advantages or disadvantages. Uh, I will say assault rifles still suck. I would say that, but they don't. Well, they all do except for the AIR weapon, which I'm about to get into like how broken the guns are. There are a lot of abilities. Most of them are the same, but uh, I still stick with the static field or the it's called static field. One of, the, one of the, I think it's called that. It's a shielding ability in Race Two. Um, now this game has no health packs, no health packs, not like in raids 1 and 2, they have no health packs, so the game forces you to have to get nano machines, and that's regenerating health, when you're below 25, you start regenerating health more quickly, and that sucks, I don't know why they didn't add health packs, maybe to make it harder, even then it's still fucking easy, because the guns are so broken in the game, and I mean they're broken the uh i think the burster which is a shotgun weapon using uh flames uh if all the shots that come out of that gun hits an enemy it insta kills them and that's ridiculous uh and if 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 the uh, if the aar gun hits an enemy twice and the the two bullets that come out per shot it hits the enemy it's like it's it just it's like an insta kill almost and that's broken because it's a 30 bullet gun with rapid fire like what the fuck it's so ridiculous at least in raise two like the fucking holy grail uh was broken because it could insta kill but it had so many weaknesses so many weaknesses and i just i don't understand like the Holy Grail had a, could insta kill, but it can only shoot one bullet per reload. It had a very slow reload speed, a, ho a very slow rapid firing speed, and a very uh, low ammo. You know, ammo. It had very low ammo, and I like that. It was balanced. It had a major like it was. It had a, like it had a major advantage with damage, but it also had a um, a major disadvantage, and that was balanced. I like that. In this game, there's no weaknesses with the guns. The fucking blunderbuss is an up-close weapon. You could think that's a disadvantage, but even then, it still has a little bit of range that can insta-kill, and it has homing. Like, it insta-kills enemies, and it's ridiculous. Holy shit. Um, like, I just don't like it. Um... I think those are like the only three guns that are just broken and the game's not hard once you get those guns the game goes by like real easy like really really easy even the last level was disappointing because your guns were still too strong for the boss um another issue I'd like to address is that the um the lag when I had an o I had an other another computer which was like older, it did not run very well. This game is really laggy, extremely laggy. 
And I don't like that. I mean... I just, I just don't like it. It's so like I had to get ad blocker to disable ads in the website so it didn't lag. And even then, it, it ran better, but it was still pretty laggy. Um, what? It, it, it's, it just bugs me that the developers have not like fixed this lag issue. Yet, it, it, the game has been out for over a year, and I wish they would do something. Like, it's no issue for me now because I have a new compa a computer and, you know, it just really bars. It, it just, it, it just pisses me off. Uh, what else? Hmm. The soundtrack's great. I love the soundtrack. I love the, uh, the, uh, the final boss soundtrack and I love, oh, I forgot. There's another theme. I gotta go check it. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, I checked. Uh, the two soundtracks I really love is The Chase and Monster Breaks. So, those I like those. Those are really good. Um, the game looks a little cartoony, but that's not the big deal with it. You know, I, I that's not a big deal. I don't have a lot of high expectations for a game, but... Like, the lag issue really bothers me. The game being too easy bothers me. And, you know, I like a game that's challenging and hard, but not, like, completely fucking impossible. And, you know, I think Race 2 did better. Um... Yeah, I think, I think that's it. Oh yeah, interesting thing. If you do jump flips, enemies' bullets will go through you. They will not touch you. And... I don't know why that was a thing. I don't think that should happen, but hey, it's there. Uh, the only thing like that's really challenging about this game is getting three stars for each level. Um, the only level that's really hard to get three stars is the T14 Terminator level. And uh, I actually had to do a video on how to do it because I tried to explain to people how to do it, but it, I don't think they understood what I was talking about. So I did a video and, you know, I did it. It takes a while to actually do that one. But yeah, I mean, I think that's my whole review right there. But the rating I give this game is a 6 out of 10. And that's just, it's just, that's just because it's too easy. It's too easy. It's, it's too, like, it's too laggy. It's just, it sucks. I'm not lagging, but older PCs, you know, it, it's gonna lag pretty hard. And no one wants that. Hell, it's harder with the game running, like, smoothly. But it's too, it's even more easier when the game's, like, laggy, because you can, like, dodge bullets way easier. But, you know, that, that's, that's it. That's, that's just my rants and my whole review about it. Uh, if you guys want to give, if you guys want to talk about it in the comments, like you have your own rating for it, and like your uh, your opinions about like what you like about this game and what you dislike, be sure to talk. You know, be sure to comment it. I'm, I'm having you talk about it. You know, just ch chat in general. The next review I will be working on is um, what is next after Raze? Strike First Hero One, and. I barely have any complaints for the Strike Force Hero series, except for three. It's weird how like it's it's three. It's like Rays and Strike Force Heroes are made by the same people, yet three the 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 third game seems to bug me the most, and I don't know what's up with that. I really don't know what's up with that. I do enjoy the voice acting in this game, by the way. I like it. My favorite character is um is blaze so, oh, that guy is amazing but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that review and uh i hope you guys have a great day and uh be sure to comment like and subscribe peace y'all fucking rock i almost i also forgot to mention the um the the story the storyline which i also have to you know 
talk about that too. I had actually ended the video for the review, but I had to do another one and then I wanted to like, you know, put the videos together so they can, you know, be too, you know, just, yeah. Uh, the story is about, it's pretty much after the war with the aliens, how the aliens managed to live on Earth because, you know, they were able to transport themselves, 45% of themselves and their materials on Earth. And they began hiding out. Well, anyway, they, humanity's been having issues and they need to train more Ray soldiers because there's no more Ray soldiers. They need another unit. So, so they just, you know, they train, they train your character and a few other members and that's pretty much it i mean they continue they find out that uh this alien who's by the way he's pretty big and tall uh i like to think he's the same alien he play as in the other alien camp in the alien campaign in race 2 just because he, he has a line he says that is the uh the same line he says at the end of the game in race 2 and i was like that has to be the same guy i mean like come on I just don't know how the fuck he got so big, you know? Um, anyway, the alien's plan is that they have a harvester. And that harvester can uh, convert uh, hu humans to zombies and convert the uh, humanity's environment into the alien's own environment. Plus, the oxygen of the aliens is poisonous. So if they managed to do this, all of humanity would be dead. I actually like that. That was pretty neat, but then there's something that doesn't make sense, which I thought was stupid. Uh, I thought it was badass that after the, when they damaged the harvester, its juices started to pour all over of the alien, and he be, he gained its powers, and he could control time, which is kind of whack, and it was just ridiculously whack. Um, but after you beat him, they say that the, when he's about to die, uh, the aliens had another plan. Where they would activate all the other harvesters they had. And they have thousands of harvesters just hidden somewhere. And I'm like, couldn't the aliens have done this? They, they could have just done, that could have been their first plan to do. And humanity wouldn't even know about the hidden harvesters. And humanity would have been fucked. But no, you aliens had to like, only activate one harvester. And that's it. Like, they could have just activated all the harvesters all at once. And that could have just been the easiest thing they could have done to fuck up humanity. But nah, man. I mean... I mean, I don't know. If you guys saw the ending, you know what I'm talking about. But... Hold on. Alright, I'm back. So, I liked... I did like the story. I just... I don't know. I, I thought it was badass. The ending was badass, but uh, the this, this story is alright. I mean, it, it's fine. I like the Race 2 story. Again, I, f I love Race 2 is perfect. I loved it. Um, it's just not as good as Race 3, but you know, that's my opinion. If you c And again, if you guys have other opinions y'all want to talk to me about, then go ahead. We can, you know, we can talk about the ups and downs of the game. But yeah, anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Again, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Peace, y'all fucking rock.